Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got Smith Corona Sky Rider here today on the bench. It's got, it's got multiple problems, including all this stuff. Paragraph. First thing we're going to tackle is this banking. So when he goes to the margin, it hops over it. But while we're doing that, we're going to do this nameplate on the back is bent. On the back is bent. Then we maybe tackle some of this other stuff. But let's see if we can get the margin fixed. I don't think it's related to the the back being bent because I, I looked at that rack and it looks perfectly straight. So there's a chance this could be bent inward. That would cause maybe a problem with the margin. But let's get this, and, and usually I bend these when they're in place, I just bend them back. But we're gonna take this cover off first since we have to take it off anyhow to get to the margins. So let's remember how to do this. Okay, so there's screws on the edges here and here, and then screws on the margin rack, which is also part of the mechanism there. So let's try this side here and see. So this acts like a oh, it was tight. Never been loosened. Okay, so I don't need to take it all the way out. I just need to unscrew it because it unscrews from this little spot right there. We unscrew it just a little more. Maybe one more turn. Okay, so now it goes around that spot. Let's do the other side here. A little, a little tighter. Oh. And loose. Let's loosen that up, but not all the way out. Okay. So now, I think we just loosen these screws that are in here. lift up there it goes see just like that and we'll do this side and then this side should lift up Gotta get around some of the stuff over here. There it goes. Okay. So let's set that aside. Let's tighten up the margin rack. Just like that. Let's see if the margins are still doing it. Yeah. You can see it. So the margins here and margin releases this black lever and it goes right to, it's hard to see in here, but it's right there, the black. And that engages with this piece right here but to let it, it it's got that angle see that angle on it right there that's so when it goes past the margin it can come back and push that out of the way so it pushes that out of the way so what we need to do is to get these two 
these two contact points right there it's just not enough right there that is just not enough see how it hopped up right there so that, that does need to come out like if this rack was bent so let's see if it's does, like I said, it doesn't not look bent, but I'm going to say bringing that rack out will solve that problem. Let's check the other side here and see. Uh, that side is fine. So what I'm going to do first I'm going to form this bracket right here. I'm going to see if this will form that direction outward. I'm going to put my uh, T bender on that. I can find it over here. So I'm flexing this. See how you can see how it flexes toward me. That's what I want to do. And that's what I did. Just a little bit. It doesn't still doesn't feel like it's coming button up against the uh, is slipping past it still okay my next uh, rep adjustment is going to bring this uh, rack right here, the stopper right there. I'm going to adjust that further that way. I'm going to do that by forming this little pivot right here. So now, I'll stick my T-bender in here. I'm going to bend it that away. Let's see. No. Nope. Still doing it. Alright.
Yeah, it's still hopping. And I don't like it. I don't like the way it's hopping. It almost seems like the edge on this stopper has worn off, worn down some where it's it's allowing it's allowing it to uh, slide by the side of the uh, it's kind of odd odd situation oh, that is it's got a worn out edge. You can, you can see the scrapes there. Well, they're actually worn down right there. Wow. Yeah, see it's rounded off there. So when it comes into contact with that margin stop over there it's just uh, it's kind of got a rounded edge here right there so I'm going to I'm going to figure out some way to fix that. And I think I'm going to take this rack out so I can get access to it. Since it comes out so easy, and so now what I want to do is flatten this out right here, right there. I need to make that a flat surface again so when it does come and make contact it doesn't want to hop around the side right there I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that right there when I cut it I'm gonna I'm going to run the Dremel just and put a flat edge on here and that's it Okay, let's see if my modification worked or not. And 
but I don't know for sure. Because I'm not sure I've ever done that to uh, Skyrider here, so I've done similar margin repairs. So let's just hope. Okay. So there's that. Let's flip it around and run it like like we meant it to be. I think we got it because even slamming it pretty hard. It's not hopping and it goes soft. It's on the money. Okay. I think that's a winner. So all I really did here was it was the edge edge of this margin slider had just rounded up off a little bit. That was majority of the culprit. So bending these parts over and trying to make it mash, it, it didn't really help because that part was a little bit rounded. So that is how to fix a margin on this particular machine, especially when you see a, a wear mark right there. All right, Phoenix Typewriter. Good day.